The rise and fall of TikTok tradwives, you know, glamorizing 1950s aesthetics to then having to come out and publicly say they're not white supremacists, honestly needs to be studied. Zooey mama, are we in for a wild video today? Hello there, my name is Cowder's Life and on this channel we talk about things on the internet and then we all share our thoughts and opinions in the comment section below so if that sounds like fun for you please feel free to subscribe and if you're not new here hey it's me again it's cow um and <laughs> i keep forgetting to wear my glasses and i actually did remember in this video but i went to put them on and they were too dirty and i couldn't find my glasses cleaner say glasses more cow <laughs> Anyway, that's enough about me. Let's crack on with the video. Tradwives are wives, shocker, I know, but they want to live by traditional gender norms. Hmm. E.g., man goes out and works hard job and woman stays at home and does the cleaning and the cooking. Why, you ask? Because that's how it's always been done. That is smooth brain thinking. I don't like it. So anyways, because of this nature of tradwives, it's heavily linked to like far right political movements and well, white supremacy. And why you may ask? Well, my friends, who do you think benefits from complicit women who have no education and do not have their own capital because they do not work? Creepy old white guy incorporated, way -oh. And of course, the horrific demonic male offspring who will of course get positions of power in the future they'll just step into their creepy dad's boots and be like well it worked for him so it's gonna work for me anyways we digress the trad wife term has become super popular on apps like tiktok i was about to say applications but it's become super popular with caricatures of a stereotypical woman like this content creator trying to sell it to us so let's look at it and have some context around the matter before we really dive into the video essay of why at face value this may just seem like the middle class just cosplaying like they always do but it actually has a lot of darker context around it if we actually don't just look at it at face value. So let's get into it. Yeah, I'm so sorry I did that. This content creator has like the A to Z on what it's like to be a trad life from her view, you know? And she really does sell it to you. It's so well packaged and you get to dress up like a 1950s housewife and scat about to some light jazz. There's always jazz in the back of these content creators' videos. It's always like, scooba da boop bop boop and then I just do whatever my husband does. scooba da boop bop boop Look, I made bread. And by the way, they never make things that good. If you actually watch how they're making things, they don't do it right. But we digress. If you really want to see firsthand what trad wives are all about, like a really in depth, just go binge their TikToks. But like a real big part of being a trad wife is this. Christian traditional wives believe in biblical submission. So this is a topic that you will see often in the traditional wife community. That is why we talk about submitting to our husbands and this does not mean the wife is of less value than the husband, but our husbands do have the most authority in our marriages. This is just the most crazy sentence in the world. How can not of less value, but they have more authority go in the same sentence? That does not equal that does not mash up and then the, like the rest of her page is full of other videos being like when your husband's getting home and it's her like getting ready and making herself look you know good for her husband and make sure the house is perfect like this is just like insane it's crazy and it feels so icky you're using christianity as a justification for this weird behavior like look at this video i'm a christian i want to be a wife yeah and she's like oh this is so cool this is so happy i want to have children and take care of my home yeah that's so cool woo to me it's important to be a submissive wife and then she's like boo hiss boo that's what the audio is like ah this whole concept of being submissive is odd i went to a, a christian school when i was like a little kid and we had to do like hymns and prayers and such but even at that base level they taught us that like though the bible has these amazing fundamentals or whatever i'm also i'm not christian by the way but you know i just went to a school but anyway i digress this isn't about me this is about this issue we were always taught that even though the 
but I had these great fundamentals we could learn from like just be a basically just be a good human the important thing with Christianity is that it involves with the times it involves with the modern world you know I've and I've got friends that I've still kept in contact from primary school who are normal functional members of society and they would never be like yeah my wife's got to stay at home and look like some 1950s <laughs> caricature of middle class white America <laughs> why I go to work and work a hard job Shut up, Clive. You work in IT. Your hands have no calluses. They're smooth, like your smooth brain. Uh, which doesn't really make sense now that I'm saying that part of the joke because I was actually defending my friends because they, they wouldn't say stuff like that. But this is nuts. Like, this is really, really heinous and not cool. And let me show you another video of these, like, fully immersed trad wives. <laughs> Why am I doing it like a movie trailer? But when I get into it in the video essay part of this, you will see this is really quite heinous and bad for society. The naive sort of feminism that insists that women prove their ability to do all the things that men do. This is a distortion and a travesty. Men have never sought to prove that they can do all the things women do. Why subject women to purely masculine criteria? Women can and ought to be judged by the criteria of femininity. For it is in their femininity that they participate in the human race. And femininity has its limitations. So has masculinity. The first time I saw this TikTok, and even now I was speechless, like how do you even argue back or make points to someone that genuinely thinks like that? That a woman has to only be hold to the values of femininity. Surely we've come to realize now as a society that like the freaking archaic concepts of what masculinity and femininity are are dumb they're just so dumb and ignorant of modern times and how people choose to express themselves now and the fact that someone can come on and say in such a, like a monotone boring voice and be like bah, 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 and just say it as if it's gospel blows my mind and like i can't even make a good point about that because it, it's so far gone there's no angle for redemption you know it's like nonsense core the top comment is lobotomy core and a big issue with like all of these tiktok trad wives is they're so clearly severely middle class white people you know they know nothing of the problems of a normal person you know when you come from a middle class background you get to cosplay pretty much any character type loadout you want. What's that? My husband works in finance. Yeah, I think I'm gonna don a 1950s dress and tell people how to make baked goods. You suck at it. You don't know how to bake that good. I'm sorry, someone's just gonna be honest with you. A lot of you have really terrible baking technique. That's right. Cow does baking video coming soon. All these TikTok trad wife creators are literally just feel like they're being pumped out by some like greasy old dude. And they're all like clones of what like some old dude with archaic views thinks a woman should look like and how a woman should behave. There's so many videos of like these content creators coming out and then trying to be like, this is just how we live and this is how we love to live. And we're not white supremacists. This is all just our lives. And if you don't like it, don't do it. Then who do you vote for? Like, honestly, just tell us who, who you vote for. Did you vote for the guy that looks like a cheesy what's it? You did, didn't you? I bet you and your husband have said some horrific things and gone to some pretty heinous parties and dressed up as questionable characters in the past if we did a deep dive into your social medias. But not that I care for that now. Let's get onto the video essay side of this because I think you can just see what type of people they are. And I really just want to like drive home in this video why I think it sucks. And I feel before I go on that rampant siege, I just want to stress like the clear difference between a stay at home parent, you know, a stay at home mum is a term I see online a lot and a trad wife, a traditional wife, okay? Because I did a video on trad wives before and a lot of stay at home parents thought I was taking shots at them, but I'm not. So the difference between a trad wife and a stay at home parent is night and day. A trad wife, all th especially the ones on TikTok, these ones cosplaying 1950s core with some shitty jazz music in the background, donning some awful clothes with terrible baking techniques, okay? They are severely middle class and privileged and they can just do this life 
because they have the financial freedom, well, not them directly, but they're conned into thinking they have financial freedom from their partner to live this life, okay? And they have the luxury of being societally good looking or whatever. So life's gonna basically be played on easy mode for them for their whole life, okay? And with stay at home parents, sometimes it makes more sense for one parent to stay at home and look after the children because that works out to save money rather than them both having a job and having to pay for childcare. Because not everybody has the luxury of being born into a, like a middle-class family where they have access to good education and good, you know, nepotism to get them good job contact. So they don't have access to jobs which could out earn the cost of childcare and also give them enough social and financial benefits to be in full-time work, you know? There's lots of valid reasons to be a stay-at-home parent. And also the big, difference is when you are a stay-at-home parent you're not being submissive to your partner that goes out and works like that is just a nuts statement no matter what way you shape up and if you try and hide behind religion with it it's still not cool it's still not cool that's that born in the usa type christianity which is like jesus is king and you know that famous american family which would go like do like horrible protests outside of like anything that was vaguely liberal you know like really not good stuff people that are so blindly religious that they're actually heinous and horrible and they do it because normally they're just really far right leaning people and they want to be like well god tell me so no you're a freak and a loser and you have no place in society but you disguise it by saying it's to do with your faith it's not you suck you lose i hope i've made it clear that the difference between the stay-at-home parent and a trad wife is night and day okay so with that let's dissect trad wives and i feel the first point i really want to have a pop at is the risk it has of influencing young impressionable people like young women who are interested in that like hollywood concept of like a happy family you know where they get to stay at home in their white picket fence house while their husband goes out and works hard and somehow it makes them lead this lavish lifestyle it's just not realistic or obtainable for like 99 percent of people in this modern world and this economic climate right chances are most people are gonna have to both work and then also rely on like their relatives to sometimes look after the child so that they can work their jobs this is what they're trying to sell you here this package this like marilyn monroe wannabe looking woman with like cosmetic surgeries and stuff it's just like this far right puppet for something that's just not attainable it's like the american dream yeah we work hard we play hard we get our money the wife stays at home and i ride a harley on the weekends like this is all the land of make believes and you get people like this being like well i do it so it must be real no you're just super middle class and privileged and that's why you can do it but they don't say that in the videos sorry i was just scratching my ear but they don't they don't say that part in the videos they're just like and this is what we do and it works and you know if i put on this this lovely little 1950s piece and i put on some shitty jazz it must be good right you, you, no it's heinous i don't like it you know like 50 percent of marriages end in divorce so uh <laughs> what are you gonna do when you have a 20 year employment gap and no capital and money of your own oh oh gully goodness that is a dilemma i don't know why i just turned into an annoying anime kid but it's just like it's not all sunshines and rainbows and these content creators that are promoting this lifestyle themselves are like very young i think some of them might be like under 25 so the brain hasn't even fully formed yet they haven't had like full-on cognitive development so they're just indoctrinated into this idea and they don't even have long-term test results to show if it works or not it's not gonna work Let's look at these people in like 20 years time. What happens when you can't pump out enough kids for your creepy Mr. Man? Or you know, you don't look a certain way or your looks start to fade. He's gonna want the younger model. And because you're just this thing that stays at home and just tends to his homely needs, <clears throat> Bye bye. You have no capital. You have no real currency to him. He'll get rid of you. Whoopsie dipsie. And that's what you're signing up for. It's a complete power imbalance. The concept of submitting and they have more authority over you. It's creepy and heinous. And it's what the old white dude wants. It's what the patriarchy wants. Stay away. And also in the land of Hollywood and completely unrealistic standards is it glamorizes like middle class vintage aesthetic it literally is just cosplay fun beat bop boot bop but like if you were truly part of like one of these 
old timey middle class families you would have had like workers in the house you would have had help within the house right and like the wife's role was to be like this like trophy for this husband like this smooth brain thing he could just wheel out at events yeah this is the 1952 <laughs> oklahoma model ain't she a beaut my dad knew her dad so i got first pick it's creepy and heinous stop the only one benefiting in all of this is the dude who hasn't had to improve ever in the whole thing gosh darn like what i urge you to do is actually speak to like your old ass relatives or whatever or just i don't know just talk to an old person and they will tell you stories of their life and it's not sunshines and rainbows at all because most of them weren't in this middle class privileged world you know if they gave you their actual opinions on like gender roles and like their expectations for like partners and stuff you would probably recoil in fear because it's not up to date with the present world so the fact that people are trying to be trad wives in this day and age is scary and it's a real slap in the face to progression once again i don't mean stay at home parents you're awesome and if that works for you that is all sunshines and rainbows truly that is i'm talking about people that are trying to perpetuate archaic views on what femininity and masculinity is and the issue is lots of young people will be interested in this life because why not we see it all over in movies and in tvs it looks so harmonious it looks so happy but if you're not born into one of these very lucky families you're not gonna have this experience you're gonna be stuck for money things are not gonna be fun and guess what you can't buy all the fun little vintage outfits oh no and you can't have like the really expensive smeg cooking appliances or anything like that no 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 your husband's gonna come home and if you don't look a million bucks he's gonna get angry but you don't have any money to buy anything and oh goodness what do you do then because he earns the money oh and then he cheats on you and then you become a statistic or oh, 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 oh yeah it just sucks and also like in this same video this content creator was like well in the bible it also says you can have an income to supplement your husband's income but of course it his has to be the main one yeah i'm sure they wanted you basically pyramid selling trad wives as a concept to other poor souls that don't have the luxury of being born into a great family or being in a middle class situation like you do this scenario just isn't realistic for like 99 percent of people it's just not. So you being like, well, I make videos and I'm just showing you what I do. And then you buy into it because there's so many hopeful young people. It's, it's just not, it's just not, it's just not a thing. There's always this in like everything in all the trends. There's always like these few people that win. Okay. And then everyone else tries to do it and they won't win. That's just how things go under capitalism and this society it's so easy to get sucked in by all these false promises and how happy people make it look like on camera but in reality it's going to be so different for most people saying with chest and confidence that like you should forego having work experience and an income of your own you know to tend to your house because that's gonna be this amazing thing is one risky thing to you know stand by it it could so heavily go wrong and you know teaching someone to submit and i saw this other video of this mum being like this is my job raising her girls or whatever being a stay-at-home mum but reinforcing like submitting to the man is just very problematic because if you raise someone to think that that's the norm that like a man's voice carries more authority and their word is law they're not a freaking deity they're a loser anyway but if you teach someone that that is the case they're way more likely and way more susceptible to enter into abusive relationships relationships with complete power imbalances you know they're probably more likely to forego a good education and good jobs with any like long-term prospects for like well i just be this stay at home thing that he'll take me out to events and show me off <laughs> i'm like a car in a dealership oh dear that's dire children that are conditioned to think like that then raised up are gonna be way more likely to stay in shit depressing relationships because they just think that's a norm and i think that's what a lot of our relatives and and old ass people did and that's why divorce is going up now because people actually do have the freedom to leave but like back in the day they just thought this was all the norm you had to marry the local boy from your village who never had to try and impress you but his dad knew your dad and he and he brought bread from your dad a couple of times so you get married woo dee doo dee woo nowadays you know people don't have to just go with the local loser they can actually have choice and men freaking hate that especially the far right what do you mean i have to work on myself i just want my wife to be perfect and i can be this stupid slob with no no depth or character like i i can't stand this type of man and this 
brings me on to my next point how trad wives is just so entwined with the far right political view and no matter what way they paint it no matter what way they can just be like actually i just wanted this lifestyle yes if you're a stay-at-home parent yes but what you are trying to sell me as a tiktok trad wife is heinous dark immoral and wickedy whack and let's talk about that that's pretty fucking smooth i hope someone makes a tiktok of that being like coldest cowardest life moments <laughs> But no, seriously, let's talk. Like at face value, you might just be like, no, cow, they're just people cosplaying. They're just people playing dress up. It's like when you do LARPing and you dress up like an 8,000 year old mage called Cow Does Magic and you cast fireballs out your hands. No, it's not like that. Me and the guys have a great time on Sundays. It's not like that at all. We're not trying to push some weird archaic femininity and masculinity roles onto people i'm trying to cast fireballs out my hand again i'm digressing let's actually try and make a good point here cow people are watching you a lot of these tiktok trad wives will use buzzwords like feminism and they'll say that like people who critique trad wives are actually being counterproductive towards the feminism movement but if you actually look at what a trad wife is perpetuating it ain't it feminism at its core is trying to uplift women and make the playing field equal so that everybody has the same opportunities and options in life so that like archaic concepts of femininity and masculinity are and we can all express and do as we want this content is just teaching you to be submissive teaching you not to think teaching you not to you know go out and live your dreams it's teaching you to just stay with that small town guy from your local town and settle down with him and have kids let him work away while you just stay at home and do everything for the family and i don't know your hobby might be sewing i kid you not this lady was like you should have a hobby like sewing yeah maybe just don't do something stereotypical for once i don't know break the mold a little no no and obviously that's not me shitting on sewing it's a real good fun right me and the homeboys have done it a few times but like all the things this lady says are just like <laughs> reading from a script of like what the far right thinks a woman should be like and how they should conduct themselves and the issue is and why this is so far right leaning is it's because it's intertwined with the patriarchy a woman choosing to live this trad life wife and submit and forego her own career or earning her own capital and money is directly assimilating into the patriarchy okay you will never no matter how much you dress up like a 1950s trad wife no matter how much you try and have cosmetic surgery or whatever to look like Marilyn Monroe you will never reap all the same benefits <laughs> creepy old white dude incorporated will reap from being part of the patriarchy okay you are just a tenant in that man's home and you know what happens if you start to not look so good or you can't keep up with all of his expectations of how a woman should conduct themselves what happens if you have fertility issues what happens if you can't produce children you know well <laughs> bye bye he wants the next model and it, of course it will be someone younger that he can once again try and mold into his unrealistic expectation of how a woman should conduct themselves in society and who does that benefit well him of course and then that woman is left with nothing and they have to rebuild from ground zero when they're like middle aged, and that's way tougher and that's sad and that is not me taking shots at like women who just know all they want to do with their life is be a stay-at-home parent and you know let that other partner go out and be the main earner while they you know live at home and tend to the family needs okay that is not me taking shots at you because i know some people also generally just do want to do that and everybody's just basically playing with the cards they're dealt in life right going to work full-time and being like a boss babe corporate girl isn't going to destroy the patriarchy at all and the same as staying at home and you know being a stay-at-home parent also isn't gonna give the patriarchy like even more superpowers or whatever but it really is about having conversation and being open in dialect with each other as a whole society the pursuit of feminism to create a universe and world where we're all open to the same opportunities we all have access to the same things regardless of how you present whether you present in a masculine or feminine way you know and that's the real conversation to be had here and i think that's why so many people call out trad wives on tiktok you know it's not because we're hating on people living out 
stereotypical norms that's fine it's just when you're like hollywoodifying it and making it this like i don't know what the word is for this but it doesn't feel real and like if i met you in real life i wouldn't have like what it's like when you meet a celebrity but i'd just be like Huh? There's got to be a word for that. This just doesn't sit right. And I know lots of people will be like, well, you're just the loony left. And what you hate is anything that follows stereotypical masculine and feminine roles. No, that's not the case at all. I understand in society, it is very easy to fall into place of just doing things that are masculine or, you know, doing things that are feminine or whatever the case may be. But like, it's when people try and paint it as sunshine rainbows, these archaic concepts of how a woman should be, how a man should be. It's scary and weird. And they will paint it out like, well, this is just how one woman was designed to be this caregiver to know there are many different types of society and civilizations throughout history to do these broad sweeping statements that are like, women are meant to do this because women and man meant to do this because of man and well we must do it this way because my uncle's sister's great 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 granddad who was the mayor of this little town i've never heard of did it like this so we should do it like that no humans are meant to adapt evolve and change i'm glad more people are getting divorced and living their truth don't stay with the loser from your local town who refuses to better himself just because he knows your dad and his dad knows your dad and i don't know they've been family friends and they went on a golfing holiday once you know Dump that loser. <laughs> I'm scared that some angry man will like try and fight me over this video. But like, uh, <laughs> I'm not like hating on men as well. I feel I should stay. And I don't know if this is going off on a tangent, but I feel like the reason why divorce is increasing, which is probably a good thing in some ways, is because people now don't just have to lock in and stay at home for life. There's so much more mobility. And because of equality and the feminism mu movement, people do get more opportunity to have a good education and to have jobs. And there's now systems in place to ensure that more women are hired into places. And that's good. We don't want creepy old white man incorporated winning. And I know they do win a lot of the time, but the more conversations that we have and the more open dialogue we have, the more of a fairer playing field we can create. Yeah, so my issue isn't really with these women, because of course they're gonna be happy. A lot of these women are in like super middle-class lifestyles and if you don't have to worry about money, life's just freaking way easier. But what do you worry about? Oh no. I didn't needle my dough correctly. Yes, you suck at cooking. Someone's just got to be honest with you. So like my quote was not really with this, these women. They've just got so lost in the sauce, not their cooking sauce. That shit looks like a solid. Wayo, improve on your sauce game. It's just what Tradwise represent and perpetuate the ideas of archaic things, which is wickedy whack. And I hope I've really conveyed that in this video. If not, let's talk about it in the comment section down below. Let's get a dialogue going. I'm really jazzed up today and I was nervous beforehand because I don't think I'm very articulate and I really want to make good social points so that we can actually have good conversation in the comment section. And I think I'm very lucky that you people commenting in the comment section are so much more articulate and make good thought provoking points that we can all bounce off and listen to and talk about. So let's get a conversation going. Even if you don't agree with all my points, I just, I just want to have this conversation because that open dialogue does create progression. I've been your boy Cowder's Life. There'll be another video essay here. Thank you for tuning in and I shall see you all in the next one. Okay, bye.